Hi, this is Sean from uh, Wolf Dog Moon, and today we're going to teach you how to play My Jesus. And uh, if you like this kind of content, smash that like button, give us a subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything, and it really does help the channel grow. And ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. And comment down below, let us know what your favorite song is, and maybe we can uh, show you how to play it. Let's get into it. So what you're going to do is put the capo on the second fret and uh, my capo is not that great so I like to double it up when I ever I get close to the end to the bridge to the uh, end of the guitar now everything I tell you is going to be relative to the capo because the capo is on the second fret this becomes the first fret okay whenever I'm giving the instructions so the third string I mean the uh, third fret is um, is the first fret now so what's great about this song my jesus is you're just playing a power chord and if you've played nirvana or if you played um some of those um alternative classics from back in the 90s then uh pretty simple or punk rock tunes or whatever so you're just going to play a chord like this it's a power chord basically so you're going to start down here at It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh fret. It's a chord that sounds like this. So you're going to be putting your pointer finger on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh fret, and then you're gonna you're gonna put your ring finger on the ninth fret, and then right below that, your pinky's gonna go on the G string of the ninth fret, and you end up and you're gonna play all the other strings open like this so it sounds like this and then so I'm, I'll just play the intro to the song so you can see how it works now so you're gonna go from here and you're gonna slide up to one two three four the fourth fret so you're going to go from here. And you're going to slide up to the second fret. And now I'm going to, you're going to do a little trick for the end part of the intro. And for the, this is the main, you're going to be playing these chords for the entirety of the song. And so you're just, in, there's a little trick you can do. You're going to just lift this finger off right here, your pointer finger. And you're going to slide these other two fingers up to the second fret. So it's kind of as if you're still doing this power chord, but now you just do it with the two fingers. So let me take you to, through the intro of the song. You're gonna kind of just let this let that ring out as you get to the Jesus part. You're just gonna go. He makes a way where there ain't no way. Rises up. So <laughs> it's pretty much the same chords. You're just gonna kind of strum by on feel. So you're gonna it's, you could kind of just add in a little bit more strumming just to change it slightly for the chorus so he makes a way where there ain't no way rises up from an empty grave ain't no sinner that he can't save let me tell you about my jesus his love is strong and his grace is free and the good news is i know that he can do for you what he's done for me 
this part, you just stay on this chord and you just down pick. Let my Jesus change your mind. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So, let me do that again. Second verse is just exactly the same thing. We would wipe away the tears from the broken dreams and wasted years. Tell the past to disappear. Oh, let me tell you about my Jesus. Now, the only part that changes is the last part. And what you do is you just go like that. You just play for the. You take my cross to Calvary. Pay the price for all my guilty. Who would care that much about me? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Oh. So for that part, you just you just slowly strumming the strings like this, and then you're moving. You're doing the same pattern. It's this time you're just gonna let it slowly ring out, and then I'll bring you back to the chorus. He makes a way where there ain't no way Rises up from an empty grave Ain't no sinner that he can't save Let me tell you about my Jesus So that just repeats over and over again Those same That same power chord This is probably a great song to If you're first learning how to play guitar This is probably a great song Because it is just the same pattern repeated over and over again and this chord right here this power chord is pretty easy to play and you can actually play a lot of other songs um you could probably um play all the nirvana songs you could play uh acdc um black sabbath there's a ton of songs that use power chords and um you'd be uh this would be a great start so um i hope you enjoyed this and uh, again, you could be playing this song relatively quickly and you could play it around the campfire. And uh, once everyone knows the words, you can all sing along and it'll sound great. So I hope this video finds you have an amazing day. I hope you have a blessed day. Signing out.